Hello everybody! So Tony, are you watching a comedy? Oh, that must have hurt. I mean look at him, sitting there laughing. What if someone does that to you, huh? Alright, alright, you're right. A kick in the groin is probably one of the most popular scenes in comedy movies. It looks pretty funny when it happens to someone else. But if you've ever been hit in the balls, <clears throat> or testicles, that's their scientific name. Well, if you've ever been hit in the testicles, you probably didn't laugh. But why does it hurt so much and could you die from it? That's what we're going to find out today. Let's first look at why a blow between the legs hurts so much more than a blow to the arm or even to the face. In fact, there are a number of reasons, and when combined, they create a cocktail of excruciating pain. First of all, the groin is one of the most unprotected areas of the body. Other areas have natural protection in the form of muscle, bone, and even fat deposits. For example, imagine someone kicked you in the leg. Here you have bones and a bunch of muscles protected by a thick layer of skin. All of that absorbs the force of the kick, but the testicles don't have any natural cushioning, so when you get kicked in the groin, you feel it in your soul. This is just one of the factors why a kick to this area causes so much pain. But let's not forget that the male genitals are a highly sensitive area that contains over 4,000 nerve cells. Therefore, any injury in this area is extremely severe. Moreover, if you get hit in the groin, you will feel pain not only there, but also in other areas. Yes, that's how our body works. Pain is not concentrated in just one place. It will go up the nerve endings to the abdominal area. All because of a special nerve that connects these regions. This is called referred or reflective pain. When you hit your leg, it's not there. But if you've ever had pain in your forehead after eating ice cream too fast, you've experienced this referred pain. I know what you're thinking, Tony. How is it possible? How did evolution allow this to happen and not come up with any natural protection in millions of years? Why aren't the testicles located somewhere inside like the kidneys, the liver, and other organs? Well, wait. Don't blame it all on Mother Nature. It was a necessary measure. You see, the function of the testicles is to produce sperm, and these tiny cells, so necessary for reproduction, are extremely fragile. They must maintain a certain temperature, lower than the one inside the human body. And by the way, the temperature inside our bodies can reach 38 degrees Celsius or more in a healthy person. What we measure with a thermometer in the armpit is one thing, but inside is quite another. For example, 36.6 degrees Celsius is considered a normal temperature in the armpit, while 37 degrees Celsius is the normal oral temperature and 37.7 degrees Celsius is the average rectal temperature. And it is thanks to evolution that our testicles are somewhat separated from our body, thus keeping our reproductive cells, which contain genetic material, viable. Here's an even more incredible fact. When it's cold and the body senses that the temperature of the testicles is getting below normal, a special muscle contracts, which pulls the scrotum closer to the body to warm it up. Now back to the kick in the groin. Have you seen in the movies how the victims start screaming and hitting higher notes after that? They could become opera singers. But in fact, there is no scientific connection between a kick to the groin and an unusually high voice. It is possible that as a result of the kick, your diaphragm and abdominal muscles will strain, making your voice sound squeakier as a consequence. But this is not a rule and it may not happen. But it will definitely hurt. Usually, you have to suffer for about 15 minutes, but depending on the extent of the damage, the pain can last up to an hour. If it does not go away, of course, it is better to see a doctor. And if it became difficult to go to the toilet, your temperature rose, and bruises and swelling began to appear, then you should definitely go to the ER. The consequences of a kick to the groin can be very bad. It won't kill you, but a prolonged injury can lead to testicular cancer or infertility. There you go, Tony. What looks very silly and funny in the movies may not be at all funny in real life. Any trauma and any blow will have consequences, just to varying degrees of severity. Take care of yourself and your reproductive organs. Wear special protection if you play any kind of contact sport. Don't let people hit you, and of course, don't kick yourself there or anywhere for that matter. You should only hit others in the groin for self-defense and to protect your loved ones. By the way, you can check out our super helpful self-defense tips that can save your life in a critical situation. The link is right here on the screen and in the description below. Well, tell us in the comments if you've had any injuries and how you survived them. 
and of course, we'll be thankful if you leave a like. It's not difficult for you, and it's very pleasant for us. Bye-bye!